but we have to do something. Schools in the USA are a lot safer today than they were back in the 90s. And the rate of gun violence in the United States is about half what it was 25 years ago. This is exactly why we should never create policy based on emotions. We're gonna rock in a free world. And now, another edition of Gun, Gun Grabber Say, Say the, the Darndest, darndest things. things. We certainly do not understand why it should be harder to make plans with friends on weekends than it is to buy an automatic or semi-automatic weapon. Excuse me? A baking powder? You don't know the difference between automatic and semi-automatic. You've never held a firearm in your life. You shouldn't have a say in the gun debate. End of story. Automatics have been banned since the 80s in the USA. Semi-automatics are not assault rifles. Assault rifle. A rapid-fire magazine-fed automatic rifle designed for infantry use. You can buy as many guns as you want at one time. And what difference does that make? How many guns could I hold at once? I can't believe this house is teeming with guns. Guns kill. Oh, guns kill. Is that right? Well, let's see about that. Okay, gun, kill. Go ahead, kill someone. Don't be shy. My right to own a gun outweighs your student's right to live. All I can hear is mine, 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 mine. Vehicles kill 32,999 people per year in the USA alone. So, you know what? My child's right to live is more important than your right to have a vehicle. Because Australia had one mass shooting in 1999 in Port Arthur Massacre, introduced gun safety, and they haven't had one since. Never mind the fact that Australian gun crime has been dropping for decades, and the rate didn't change since they brought in their gun reform. And no, they haven't had a mass shooting of that scale since 1996, but they also didn't have any before 1996 of that scale either. Meanwhile, not a day goes by without headlines about criminals with illegal guns all over Australia. Canada has had three, and the UK had one, and they both introduced gun control. All right, well, the UK, violent crime is through the roof, home invasions are way up, and all sorts of other things are used as weapons. And here in Canada, you know, it's nice that uh, you're telling me about my own country. Our gun crime rate has also been dropping for decades, and we brought in new gun legislation back in the 90s, and guess what? The rate didn't change. It's easier to get guns in Canada than a lot of U.S. states, and guess what? I can buy as many as I want, including semi-auto rifles, and I don't have to register the vast majority of them. We are going to be the kids that you read about in textbooks. Yeah, you are. We're going to read about the Tide Pod generation that tried to strip away tens of millions of people's rights. He wouldn't have harmed that many students with a knife! You're right, he might not have been able to kill 17 people with a knife. He might have killed 19 people with a knife like what happened in Japan just over a year ago. Or he could have, you know, made a bomb and blown up the school, or just rented a moving truck and run over 86 people in a few seconds like what happened in France. Guns are designed to kill, so it's different. Oh, okay, so a killer looks at something and says, well, that's not designed to kill, so I better not use it, right? Is, th is, that, is that what you're saying? None of my rifles are designed to point at a human being. The safety manuals always tell you to point the muzzle in a safe direction away from people. How about we stop blaming the victims for something that was the shooter's fault? Oh, you're finally admitting that it's the shooter's fault. I'm impressed. The fault of the people who let him buy the guns in the first place. That's right, the authorities knew about this guy way ahead of time, but he still bought a gun, even though the laws are already in place. Yet you, you want more laws? Those at the gun shows, the people who encouraged him to buy accessories for his guns to make them fully automatic. Huh? We just went over this. Fully automatic? As in what the military has? Fully automatic! He didn't use a fully automatic firearm. He didn't convert it to fully automatic. He didn't even use a high capacity magazine. Fully automatic! In a rifle that's no more powerful than your grandpa's hunting rifle. Fully automatic! Fully automatic! The people who didn't take them away from him when they knew that he expressed homicidal tendencies. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So you must be talking about the FBI and how they failed miserably. And I am not talking about the FBI! Oh, okay! If the president wants to come up to me and tell me to my face that it was a terrible tragedy and how it should never have happened and maintain telling us how nothing is going to be done about it, 
I'm going to happily ask him how much money he received from the National Rifle Association. The NRA? The National Rifle Association is pocket change that you would find in your sofa compared to the other lobby groups in Washington, D.C. And not only that, do you really think Trump cares about mere millions of dollars? He's a billionaire! They say that tougher gun laws do not decrease gun violence. We call BS! Well, except for all the places where guns are legally purchased in large numbers and crime rates drop significantly. What are you going to say about that? Yeah, that's what I thought. They say a good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. We call BS! Well, except for the fact that it happens all the time, and the two and a half million defensive uses of guns every year. They say guns are just tools like knives and are as dangerous as cars. We call BS! Surely you can't be serious. Hmm, about 33,000 die every year in the USA just from vehicles alone and less than 400 from all rifles combined. And that includes the very small number of what you call assault rifles. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. They say that no laws could have been able to prevent the hundreds of senseless tragedies that have occurred. We call BS! <laughs> that us kids don't know what we're talking about, that we're too young to understand how the government works. We call BS! And you're old enough to tell us what to do with our lives and what we can and cannot buy, then obviously you don't have a problem with the fact that somebody who's 18 can legally buy a firearm, right? You don't want to ban all guns, you just want to ban semi-automatic guns, right? Newsflash, that's about 90% of all firearms that people buy and own. Even handguns are mostly semi-automatic. If you ban semi-automatics, you're basically looking for a civil war because that's nearly everyone's firearms and will only be left with lever action and bolt action and some shotguns, right? Oh, yeah, but that's okay because killers won't be able to kill people as fast without semi-automatics, right? Well, let's take a look at some non-semi-automatic off-the-shelf rifles. So why don't you just admit it? You want to ban all guns. You have no respect for people's freedom, for their rights to self-defense, for hunting, for sports shooting. And you completely ignore the fact that only about 1 out of 375,000 firearms is used illegally to commit murder, which makes guns one of the safest products you can possibly legally own. Well, you parade around for photo ops and get famous off this. So, for you and the rest of the gun grabbers out there, I only have seven words for you keep on rocking in the free world. Just remember, it'll only remain free as long as the rest of us ignore you. Keep on rocking in the pew pew world! Woo! Woo! You are watching Just Incredible TV. Want to see more? Become a patron and see exclusive content. Plus, see new Just Incredible videos before anyone on YouTube. Head over to patreon.com slash jcredtv and keep on rocking in the free world.